YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter all have different requirements for video, so creating content for them all can be a challenge. The good news is that Adobe Premiere Pro has built-in settings to save you a ton of time. Here are the best social media export settings for Adobe Premiere Pro. Your sequence should be the same as your planned final output, so you know what it's going to look like and you won't end up with any black bars on the sides or top and bottom. Open a new sequence in Premiere, select your preset, then click the Settings tab. Change the width and height of your sequence to your chosen resolution and aspect ratio and edit your project. Now on to exporting. If your video is for YouTube, select H.264 as the format in the export window. There are five built-in YouTube presets for you to choose from. Although YouTube can accept practically any aspect ratio, including vertical, and adjust the player for it accordingly, these presets only use the most common horizontal aspect ratios. Choose the YouTube preset that best fits with your project, then change the bitrate encoding to VBR 2-pass encoding and set the target bitrate to no lower than 8 megabits per second. The second pass increases the video quality, and the target bitrate changes the file size to be more web-friendly. If you are using a vertical aspect ratio, select the preset that is closest and change the resolution to match your sequence. There are three standard horizontal presets for Facebook and the Premiere export window. Vertical aspect ratios should be changed to match the sequence the same way as you would for YouTube. Change the variable bitrate to two-pass encoding, set the target bitrate to 12 and the maximum to 16. Go back up to the top and select to save the preset and give it a specific name. Facebook videos need to be under 120 minutes long and four gigabytes in size, so adjust the bitrate if the exported file is too big. There are no specific presets in the export window for Instagram, so use the Facebook compression settings instead and just change the aspect ratio to match your needs, which will vary by the type of post. An in-feed video is typically one by one, meaning the horizontal and vertical resolutions should match in your export window. Instagram stories and story ads are presented at full vertical nine by 16, so you should take advantage of that by filling the entire screen. You're limited to one minute in length for in-feed posts, 15 seconds for story segments, but up to 60 seconds for story ads. For IGTV, the maximum file size under 10 minutes is 650 megabytes and 3.6 gigs up to an hour. They also need to be MP4 format and prefer a 9x16 frame. The Twitter video player will adjust to your aspect ratio like Facebook and YouTube. In the export window, pick the one that you like the best and change the VBR encoding to 2-pass, then set the target bitrate to 8 and the maximum bitrate to 12. The maximum resolution is 1900 by 1200 or 1200 by 1900, a 25 megabit per second bitrate, 512 megabytes for size, and 2 minutes and 20 seconds for length. You have the option to auto-publish to your social channels directly from the export window as well. Click the Publish tab, find the platform of your choice, and fill in any metadata that you need and set the privacy. Facebook lets you publish to any pages you manage, and YouTube will let you even choose the channel and playlist and set the time code of the thumbnail you want to use. If you don't want to use the specific export presets for any of these platforms, you can use the QuickTime format with your chosen aspect ratio and still publish to everything except Twitter. As long as it fits the file size and other requirements, it works the same way. Social media platforms are always evolving their requirements, so make sure to check them out every now and then to see if they've updated their preferences. Experiment with different resolutions, aspect ratios, and bit rates to get the most out of your content. If you like this video, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for more tutorials. You can also read the Pond5 blog for an in-depth companion piece, as well as other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com to get millions of video clips and other assets to use in your next project.